Welcome to Infinity Learn by Sri Chaitanya and today this is a very very important session because we are going to discuss as you can already see on the board over here that do's and don'ts for NEET 2024. We already know that the NEET examination is right around the corner. We have always spoken about the syllabus, about the high weightage topics, how to revise, how to memorize each and everything. But even other than the syllabus, other than your study material, other than your schedule, your routine, there are few more things which are really important and I believe that you should all know about it, that what should be the do's and don'ts for the upcoming examination of NEET 2024. Alright, so let's get started and first of all, let's discuss about the do's for the examination. Alright, so... The first topic is going to be really important that you have to you have to keep all the documents handy before the examination. As soon as the admit card comes, as soon as the performer is there, you have to keep all the documents ready, whether it's going to be your ID card, all right, your Aadhaar, your admit, the performer, each and everything should be handy before the examination. Also, you should have extra copies of it because you cannot risk, you know, doing these small mistakes because, you know, throughout the year, we have been preparing so nicely for the examination. So, just before the examination, we shouldn't be doing anything which is like slightest of the mistake and it's going to affect our result or our examination. All right. So that's going to be really important. That is where the first most important topic or the first most important thing over here is to keep all the documents handy before the examination. All right. Other than that, you should go through all the mind maps, mnemonics, diagrams, each and everything, all right? So throughout the year, we have been planning that way that, you know, we study the topic, we uh, practice questions about it, we do each and everything. But we do have short notes, we have flashcards, we have prepared mind maps together, we have mnemonics for each and everything and, uh, you know, subjects like biology considering zoology botany both so it has a lot of diagrams as well so you should go through these things which will give you a whole summarized version of the topic rather than going through the detailed version of the topic okay because before the examination you anyway don't have much amount of time left so that is why you should be going through all the mind maps mnem uh, mnemonics diagrams etc before the examination all right then you need to follow the dress code which is being mentioned, okay? Everything, each and every detail is mentioned on the NTA website and, you know, they actually release each and everything, uh, including the dress code. So when you are going for the examination, you should be well aware that what are you supposed to wear, what are you supposed to carry. So you should be well prepared before the examination. Also, there should be one more thing that we know that we get the centers uh, you know, for the examination, sometimes quite far from where do we live and everything, okay? But as soon as you get your admit card, it would be really, really helpful if you go one day or two days prior to the center, you visit the center so that you know where exactly is your center, you know which route to follow in order to reach there early because when on the day of the examination, even though you are supposed to take an extra time, you know, before reaching to the center, you should not be panicked if you are confused, you know, whether it's about the route or it's about how far is it from your place. So it's always better to visit the center one or two days prior also before the examination. All right. Other than that, you should go through all the guidelines and the performer. All right. So that you are well aware of how to reach there, what to wear, what to carry, what not to carry. Each and every guideline should be followed and as I've mentioned earlier as well that all the documents you should be having and when you read the guidelines properly, you should be knowing that, you know, you will be knowing that what all is important, what all is necessary, right? Other than that, it's very, very, very important to take care of your health. As we already know that it's, uh, you know, summers and it's too hot outside, try avoiding staying outdoor for a more period of time, especially during the day. Try to stay indoors as much as possible. Try to drink as much as water you can because it's really important to stay hydrated because if for the whole year you have been preparing for the examination and during the last days, if you are not well, if your health is not good, 
that is you know the biggest mistake you can make because it's really important to take care of your health you have to stay hydrated you have to uh, stay healthy stay indoors don't eat anything outside okay stay the home cooked food because you cannot afford to get sick before the examination otherwise the whole year you know how well you have prepared for the examination everything might go into the vein and that will be really really difficult to handle okay so it's really important to take care of your health all right then you don't have to be too stressed and you just need to trust the process if whole year you have prepared you have given your hard work and if you have prepared so well for the examination then just before the examination of course we get a little anxious we also get stressed about the paper because we want to score that greatly right but try not to be stressed and just trust the process that whatever hard work you have put in throughout the year it will definitely give you the results you have done each and everything you have been disciplined you have studied hard you have practiced the questions you have been consistent about your hard work you have been consistent about your preparation so just trust the process and do not be super stressed before the examination all right so these are the do's about the examination now let's talk about the don'ts okay which you should completely completely avoid all right so first thing you do not have to keep anything for the last moment not at all whether it's about the documents whether it's about the dress code uh, you know do not keep anything for the last moment even your preparation if you're thinking that okay i have like 5 days left i'll uh, do this chapter or towards the end or i'll practice certain questions towards the end do not keep anything for the last moment because for the last moment you really need to be relaxed you need a calm state of mind so if you keep things for the last moment you will be panicking you will be getting anxious which is definitely not going to be good for your examination all right so try not to keep anything for the last moment be well prepared so that you can feel more confident about it all right other than that do not take any gadget to the examination hall that you will automatically understand when you will go through all the guidelines and you will understand what you are supposed to carry towards the examination hall and what you are not supposed to carry okay so whatever gadgets watch digital watches and all of that they are not allowed at all so do not carry all of those because if there is anything over there and you know if somebody stops you or it's just a mindset right so you might get panicked and you know you will start feeling anxious and then you won't be able to focus on the paper which we definitely don't want we want that all of the hard work that we have done throughout the year that should give us results right so make sure that you don't carry anything which is not allowed in the examination hall also don't wear anything else other than the dress code which is mentioned be well aware about the dress code be well about be uh, well aware about all the things that you are supposed to carry to the examination hall keep your water bottle as well stay hydrated it's really really important but other things which are not allowed to the examination hall try to avoid each and everything all right then avoid eating outside food as i've already told you it's really really important to take care of your health right now because uh, it's uh, you know summers are like a really risky time it's very hot outside so try to stay indoors do not eat anything from outside because at this point of time you cannot afford to get sick at all it's really important to stay healthy so that you can be more focused you can stay calm and you know you can focus on the examination and lastly you have to avoid studying for longer hours now and sleeping at odd times so now you cannot think that whole night i'll study and then i'll sleep in the morning now that time is gone okay you have to be relaxed you have to yes you need to revise but don't study for like longer stretch of hours and then you sleep at odd time so your sleep cycle is also uh, you know not perfect because before the examination it's really important to get good sleep and your sleeping cycle should be perfect that you are sleeping at night waking up early in the morning i think that would work more because if your sleeping cycle is not perfect you won't be feeling that energetic you won't be feeling that focused during the examination all right so it's really important to stay energetic stay focused and you know perform and give your best in the examination so these were the do's and don'ts that i wanted to discuss because i know that uh, 
other than the study part also there are a lot of things that might give you stress and uh, we can't afford our students being stressed about anything that might you know stop them from giving giving their best in the upcoming examination all right so thank you so much everyone and i wish you all the very very best i know and i hope that all of you perform really great just keep following the do's and don'ts before the neat examination all the very best